What do y'all think of Cajun food? Have you ever tried Cajun food? It can be a little bit spicy. Cajun food is definitely full of flavor. I've got several recipes on my channel already for some Cajun dishes, gumbo, dirty rice, which is so good. Y'all try that one. Okay, try it. And I have a Cajun chicken pasta. My family lived in Louisiana for about four and a half years when I was growing up, like my middle school, early high school years. And my mom picked up some really good recipes. So today's recipe is based on one of those. It is called easy. No, it is called What's it called? It's called spicy. Uh, <laughs> it's called spicy chicken creole. And don't worry about the word spicy. It doesn't have to be too spicy. You can go up or down on the spice level with the amount of Cajun seasoning you put in this dish. Today's recipe is another meal in a jar recipe. It's a just add water recipe. <laughs> My dog keeps doing crazy things. Okay, sorry. sorry about that. <laughs> it's a just add water recipe. It's super simple, but full of flavor. And I hope you give it a try. Hey y'all, I'm Kareth. Welcome to the freeze dried foodie. When my family lived in Louisiana, my mom got several recipes for some regional favorites from her friends at church and at school. Chicken Creole is basically a spicy chicken and vegetable dish that is cooked in a flavorful tomato broth and served over rice. And you can make it with other proteins as well. We've had shrimp Creole on many occasions and it is delicious too. So if you're trying to keep this low carb, then just skip the rice and serve it over collie rice. The dish itself is naturally low carb, but it is full of flavor. These are the ingredients you'll need to make this dish. And let me show you how I put it together. I start with a quart size jar and that'll give you about three good size main dish servings of this. And to the jar, I add a cup and a half of our grilled chicken dices. Now you can use the Thrive Life sliced chicken if you like. That's half a cup each of the sliced onions, the tomato dices, the green bell peppers, and the celery. And I do like to pulse the celery in the blender to make the pieces a little bit smaller, or you could crush them in a baggie. Okay, so basically we've got chicken and vegetables in there right now. And to that, I'm going to add the tomato powder for that tomato broth we talked about. And I've got some green onions and some Thrive Life garlic here. If you don't have the Thrive Life green onions, you could either leave them out or try to substitute some of the Lighthouse brand chives. Those are freeze dried chives and that would be a good substitute for you. These are the seasonings my mom put in there. She always used chicken bouillon, salt and pepper. Of course, we need some Cajun seasonings, right? So I'm using the Tony's and the Cajun two-step. And that Trinity shake is not spicy, but the other two are. And it really depends on how much of those you put in there as to how spicy your dish is going to be. I put one teaspoon of each of those kinds of Cajun seasonings and I would say my dish was mildly spicy. If you want more spice, you can definitely crank that up or add some hot sauce to the dish when it's ready. And this is what you could store on your pantry shelf. This is a very easy dish. It's a dump and go, a just add water dish. So it's perfect for a weeknight dinner. You'll get out a large skillet and add the contents of the jar to your skillet. And then you need to add about four cups of water. I started with three, stirred it and added a fourth. But I want you to notice the amount of sauce at the end and see if you wouldn't prefer adding 
maybe one more cup of water here. I think if you want more sauce at the end, you could just add five cups of water to start with and that will give you more sauce. Of course, you can always taste and adjust the spices at the end. You'll want to bring this to a boil over medium heat and then just kind of reduce it to maybe a medium low. I think mine was at a four out of 10 on my stove. All I did was stir it every once in a while. And see how dark your sauce gets and it really does reduce and thicken. So this is the amount of sauce you'll have if you start with four cups of water. So if you want more sauce to your chicken creole, then start with five cups. At this point, be sure to give it a taste and adjust your seasonings. I didn't add anything to mine, I thought it was great. If you add more water, then you might wanna add a little bit extra salt or pepper or Cajun spice. I decided to put my rice in the middle here. I saw this at a restaurant and I thought it was pretty. You'll be able to make probably about three of this size servings. So isn't that lovely? Look at those chunks of chicken. And the chicken is nice and tender. The vegetables are so good. You could make this and see if you don't want to add a little bit more vegetables to your jar, whatever you could fit in there. I think it is so tasty. The spice from the Cajun seasoning is really yummy. And the Holy Trinity in Louisiana cooking, it's the onion, celery, and green bell pepper. I love those flavors in there. And those are usually the base of all Cajun dishes, really. And if you eat this with collie rice, I think it would be terrific. And definitely it would keep the carbs down here. Y'all, that was such a yummy bite. It's really a good dish. And yeah, it's a bit spicy and I loved it. Okay, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. I'll include the full recipe as well as my shopping link in the description box below. And if you find value in my content, if you are enjoying my videos, I really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for leaving comments. I mean, even if it's just a smiley face, that helps my channel. So thank you all very much. All right. Well, I hope you'll have a blessed day. And until next time, y'all take care and... Keep thriving.